today we are going to do a room tour of the boys room we just did Lilia's room yesterday so today we're gonna do the boys room honestly the boys really aren't in here a whole lot they pretty much only come in here to like sleep they spend the majority of their time playing in Lilia's room with her or in our little play area that we have so this is kind of the mostly just like their relax area their sleep area so you're gonna notice that there's not really a whole lot of toys in here so as you can probably tell their theme is like sports you'll see like baseballs basketballs football stuff like that that's one thing that the three boys all really <laughs> like and just to clarify I did talk about this before but if you missed the video the twins and Landon share this room together so that does not necessarily mean that they all sleep in this room all the time most of the time all four of them if not at least three of them will end up in the same bed. So as you can see, this is a bunk bed and the bottom is a full. So I mean, realistically, you can literally fit like five kids on there. Not that we encourage that, but I'm not saying that that doesn't ever happen because a lot of the times they just want to cuddle up with each other and they want to watch a movie and they end up falling asleep like that. And who am I to tell them no? So usually we'll have one kid sleep up on the top and two on the bottom. And lately it's been Landon on the top. He prefers to sleep up there. And then we have the twins on the bottom. But it kind of just varies. It kind of just depends on who wants to sleep where that night. So when you first walk in the door, we have a picture there. And then there's like this little like, I don't know if you can see. It's just like a little indented area right there. And then that is an air filter. I have them in all the kids' rooms. It just helps them sleep. It just provides like white noise pretty much. It's the only purpose for that. Let's move this way. So then there's the front. There's the door there. And I have this little sign there and it says together everyone achieves more and it spells out team moving on over here there is a picture of the twins from when they were babies and then they have that little like I don't know for lack of a better word like entertainment center I guess it's basically just like a little cubicle and we have these three cubicles which I found on clearance which happened to match their bed exactly from Target because I did get their bed spread from Target but when I got those they were still new and then I just happened to see these one time and they were like literally like two dollars so I snatched those up. They do put a couple toys and knickknack stuff in there but it's mostly stuff that they're just hiding from other kids <laughs> and then I will keep in the top one up here like their extra pillowcases and sheets and there's like a pack of wipes and a extra DVD player that's kind of random but I just kind of have random stuff in there and then I have some books down there at the bottom. So then there's their picture up there and then I have another um, little sign over there. It has a bunch of like sports little sayings on it. And then their curtains and their valance. How do you say that? I never know how to freaking say that word like valence or valance or whatever. I got those from Target the same time I got their beds for or their bed spreads from Target. And so that was all from there. And then these are the curtains that are like, um, the night curtains they're like super thick and when it's closed it, it doesn't matter if it is the middle of the day it literally looks like it's nighttime in here so I really really like those especially for ones who take a nap so then coming this way there is their bed underneath their bed I do keep some bins and stuff I don't know if you can see it peeking out under there I think I have the twins memory bin up in their closet right now but I'll keep Landon's down there and I'll usually keep clothes down there as well like clothes that are being passed down from the twins to Landon and just like little things that are out of season sometimes I'll keep under there as well so that way we don't have to like pile everything into their closet then over here we have a picture of Landon up there and then we have the twins trophies that they got from baseball and then a little glove picture right there this brown dresser is Landon's that's where we keep all of his PJs pants shorts jackets and then the top drawer has like random stuff like little stuff that I cannot part with that hasn't quite made it to his memory bin yet and then some like shoes and stuff like that and then these are all of his long sleeve shirts shirts that we don't wear like every day then he has shorts in there pants in there jackets in there and then this is just an extra like storage thing we have slippers in there bathing suits in the second one and then the bottom one I think might be empty but we just keep it open for whatever we need to use it for so that is where we keep most of Landon's clothes and then going over to the closet they have like a little tent in the corner over there this dresser is the twins dresser it's obviously much bigger because there are two of them hats there underwear there socks there and then we have like two pajama drawers a pants drawer a short store and a shirt drawer <laughs> and then up here we have they're always separated I try to keep the 
them physically separated from like extra hangers, but all of the stuff on the left hand side is Landon's. So those are all Landon shirts and these are all of the twin shirts. And I try to keep them as organized as possible because they like to dress alike. If I can't find the other pair of the shirt or like the other shirt that one of them wants to wear, it could be a disaster. So I usually try to keep the pairs up here. So you'll see there's like pair, 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 pair. So anything that has a pair goes up here. And then I get to a section back here. I keep all of the like character ones. So they have, they have cars there, Spider-Man there, Minecraft, Batman and so on and so forth, Star, Star Wars, Hulk, all that kind of stuff. Because a lot of the time they'll ask to wear a specific shirt, like a Spider-Man shirt or a Batman shirt. So I try to keep them as organized as possible. Towards the back there, I keep their jackets and then their like nice button up shirts and then like outfits that they don't usually wear as much. Like here are some like Christmas sweaters that are very much out of season right now. And then like I said, all their jackets back there. And then up there, that's the twins memory bin. And then that is Landon's bobby pillow that I never got rid of. I actually kind of forgot it was up there until right now. And then that has a bunch of winter stuff in it. And then there's like extra sheets and kind of just random stuff up there. Up at the top above the closet, we do have a little football, basketball and baseball just to add decoration to the room. And then you're back to the front door. So most of these things are from Target. I wanna say like 90% of the things in here are from Target. The whole collection with their bedspread, that's all a Target thing. And I have no idea if it's still there or not. It was a while ago that I got it. The bunk bed, I honestly can't remember where we ended up purchasing it from, but they had them like everywhere. I just like price checked everywhere and kind of went from there. This we got used and then stained it. And then the carpet down here, it just matches their room. That is from Target as well. And it's the same one that Lilia has, but it's a blue color instead of the pink color. And then I think the only thing that's not from Target is up there. Those are from Hobby Lobby. And they have their sales where they have like everything 50% off. So I definitely Definitely try to take advantage of that when I can. So anyway, I hope I did this thoroughly enough. I can't really think of anything else really to show you guys in here. Like I said, this is mainly just where they rest or sleep. Most of the time they're playing either in their little play area, in Lilia's room with her, or outside. So anyway, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for our next VEDA video. Bye.